Hi, my name is Joe Miller, and having studied at LSE myself, uh, I am now the Prof's first in-house admissions consultant, having helped more than 100 students secure offers at the best universities in Britain. In this video, I'm going to give you five quick tips, my observations on LSE's Real Estate Economics and Finance course. The first tip I have is prepare and start your application early. This is often a misconception with LSE because they run a rolling postgraduate applications process. What does that mean? It means there is no hard deadline. Um, however, you should be aware that LSE does start the process very early, typically in November or December. So to absolutely maximise your chances of success, you should be looking to submit your application before Christmas, before that break. Moreover, starting your application early uh, really gives you a bonus when it comes to the Real Estate Economics and Finance course. Why? Because in the summer, LSE offers an eight-week online program, an online certificate that has the exact same name as this master's. If you are able to undertake that program the summer before, you will increase your chances. It will be an opportunity for you to meet the professors. It will be an opportunity for you to perhaps visit the campus or learn about the type of modules that you'll study. And that is really going to help when it comes to writing your statement of academic purpose. The second tip that I have is know this course. Uh, this course is academic. It is taught by professors and your applications are reviewed by professors. Therefore, even if you know that you want to do this course to break into the real estate sector, whether it be real estate finance, whether it be urban economics, whether it be planning and development, remember that your statement of academic purpose has to be academically rooted. It needs to include readings. It needs to include research, ideally evidence of your own research and where that would fit within the department or the various research centres at LSE. This is perhaps the biggest mistake most candidates make. They forget that this is an academic course first and foremost. The third tip that I have is for you to understand the skills that are required for a course like this. Um, the skills are far more academic than they are professional. My advice to all candidates is go onto the LSE website, look at the programme structure and click school calendar where you'll see the six different papers that you have to set, sit as part of this programme. The sixth paper is a dissertation. You have to write a dissertation. If you don't have academic skills, independent research, writing, um, presenting your own hypotheses and testing them with primary research, you're going to really struggle on this programme and you're going to really struggle to convince the professors who read your application that you, that you have what it takes. So please do that research before submitting your application. It will really make a difference. With that in mind, please also note that you have to su submit at least two references with this application. At least two of them the two that they ask for should be academic. These should be professors that have taught you previously, perhaps an academic tutor at your previous institution, or perhaps somebody that you've shadowed or been a research assistant for or something of the like. That's really, really important. If you think a really competitive part of your application is your internship or work experience, by all means, get a professional reference and submit it as a third, as, as an additional document on the application, but make sure you prioritise those two academic references first. The fourth tip I have for you is to understand who is teaching you this course. This course is delivered by the Department of Geography and Environment. It is therefore important that at least a section, perhaps one paragraph of your personal statement, is dedicated to why the Department of Geography and Environment is a good fit for you and your goals, and I guess more importantly, why you would fit well into it. This means going on the Geography and Environment Department's website, looking at their recent research, I would look at 2024, 2023 publications, and look at the professors who teach the courses and what they are publishing. That will enable you to really understand whether your type of research is going to fit, and also the type of readings and the type of theories or concepts that you should be mentioning to make sure that they understand that you're the right candidate for this program. I can't emphasize how important that is for this LSE program. My fifth and final tip is 
don't neglect your career goals. This is an academic course, first and foremost, sure, but it's absolutely critical that LSC still sees in your application where they fit into your career. Are you using this, are you using this program as a stepping stone into something else? Are you using this to launch a research career or a PhD? Tell them, try and make your career goal impactful, rooted in academia, but be really clear about what this is. I would have a look on the website. It's an incredibly competitive course with just a 7% acceptance rate. Look at where those candidates come from in terms of their undergraduate studies, countries, geography, and, and whatever else. And then look at where they end up. And you'll see that it really is an eclectic mix of careers that they go into. Find one that you can substantiate with your own experience, with your own CV, and make that narrative really clear in your application. Find a balance between being too ambitious and unrealistic, um, and then being too realistic and perhaps not ambitious enough. It's a hard balance to find, but if you find it, your application will certainly be more competitive. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you found it useful, please do like and subscribe. Um, if you or anyone you know are thinking about applying to a master's program at LSE, please don't hesitate to get in touch with our team of experts here at The Profs. Good luck.